Hello. Well, I have been asked to do the Oscars, so that's what I'm doing. I mean, I live to serve, don't I? Uh, so um, I want to make a disclosure first. I have seen these pictures before, uh, but not I haven't really inspected them. What happened was when I do a screenshot, I have to make the screenshot a certain size and I scroll through the pictures really quickly in order to see if they all fit into the, uh, the, the window I've made for them. So somewhere at the back of my mind, there is a general impression of the pictures, but I haven't really studied them. So when I talk about them, it's more or less a fresh impression. I just wanted you to know that. All right, now what else is there to say? Yes, I'm going to be talking about the uh, pictures that appeared in L magazine. And so there may be many others that are really more extreme or silly or even more glamorous, uh, but I am stuck with what I can find on the internet. So uh, that's another thing. And um, according to, uh, let's see, According to L magazine, uh, there are going to be 43. That's it. There are 43 uh, that I'm going to be talking about or not talking about, depending on how awful they are. Right. Uh, so that's the business out of the way. Now I'm going to tell you who I am. I am Granny Opterix. I'm on YouTube, Rumble, Bitshoot and Minds. All the links are in the description. I'm also on Twitter, Gab and Parlor, where I let you know when I've uploaded a new video. Uh, and uh, links again in the description. Uh, what can you do to help my channel? Well, the most important thing is to like this video and you can also share it and you can subscribe to my channel. If you're on YouTube, keep checking your subscriptions. They sometimes, uh, subscriptions sometimes drop, apparently. Uh, what's that? Ah, oh, yes, and you can help me financially, of course. There should be the bouncing coffee cup there. Buy me a coffee. There are a couple more links. All of the links are in the description. Right, now, here we have, now, who is this person? Oh, there's something else I didn't tell you. I don't know many of these people and I couldn't care less that I don't know either. So I don't know what they've done or what they've said, uh, how they've acted or where they've acted or if they're producers and or directors in many cases. So I'm just approaching the dresses with people in them. Janelle Monet, I don't know who she is, is wearing... Uh, well, she forgot to pull her dress up, didn't she? That seems like it's a nice skirt, um, uh, but uh, she's folded the top down and, and forgotten to, to pull it up. I suppose she must have been adjusting her bra and uh, she had to dash out to the red carpet, uh, which, by the way, is not red anymore. It's beige. And in many ways, uh, that's a good decision. Uh, although it rather ruins the idea of the red carpet, it does show off the dresses a bit better. Especially, you know, if you're wearing a red dress or something and, and you're on the red carpet, you, you would tend to disappear. All right, that was the first one. And this one, who's this? Salma Hayek. I've heard that name. Ah. Ah. OK, all right. Well, I, I just can't. You, There's something you can't ignore here, is there? That looks like a pair of buttocks. I, 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 I'm surprised that anyone, man or woman, is going to be talking to her face. It's a shame. It's a waste of some rather attractive material. Now, who is this? Kate Hudson looking looking just like a fish. I mean, I've seen carps that look... Uh, okay, they're the fins, yeah? There's the tail and these are the scales. I, I mean, I feel like uh, apart from the... Well, maybe she's going for the mermaid look, I don't know. But I, I do think of barbecues. All right, this one. Oh, well, you know what? That's a nice dress. And she's got a good figure, a well-disciplined figure, you might say. This is Emily Blunt. But but this this thing here, you know, the sleeves, I don't think they're attached, actually. They're gloves or something. Uh, they might be attached down here. But that's too low. 
You know what this reminds me of? You know those 1960s films where the actress is in the bath or in a swimming pool? That's about as low as they would go in the water before the soap suds started. Or, or the lilies. Yeah. That, that's just too low. But, I, I mean, this, this here is lovely. Uh... Oh, I caught a, I caught sight of this when when I flashed past it. <laughs> who is this? Jessie Buckley. Don't know who she is, but I, I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of. Of course, there's always the gothic thing there, but basically, it reminds me of a Victorian trellis with a chrysanthemum sticking out the top. Why is her hair like that? Yeah, you, you see Victorian gates like that, don't you? With with. <laughs> oh my God! I've got an even worse thing—a Victorian gate with a head stuck on the top. Uh, re yeah, from the paleness of her skin, very recently. Oh dear, that's a, that's a dreadful thing. Who's the? Oh yes, of course, Kate Blanchett, and this is gorgeous. This is lovely. Strong, clear. She looks wonderful. And this is an actress who, I think she probably took her Elizabeth I act uh, through her career now as her hallmark because she has that look, this straight, I'm certain of myself, I'm a powerful person look. And yeah, she, she looks great there. Wonderful. Let, where, where's the next... Oh, gosh. I don't, uh, do you think this lady might be pregnant? And what's this? Half of her dress is... Okay, so, I mean, it's a side view, but as far as I can tell, she's wearing a leather bra. Well, this is Hollywood. It's probably vegan leather, but I'm going to say leather for the purposes of, de uh, of, of the look. She's wearing a leather bra and a, a leather sort of... Well pair of shorts or something the top part of her dress is leather it's split and then there's a leather train well look when you get pregnant you tend to put a bit of weight on around your hips anyway so that's quite useful because those slits are going to expand this is absolutely oh yeah i forgot and then there's this body stocking look underneath it it's absolutely awful i mean it's just horrible why is she doing this to herself? Who, who, who is she? Rihanna. Rihanna. I know that name. She's su Isn't she supposed to be quite glamorous? Why, why is she doing this? There are many ways you can tell people you're pregnant w w without that. Oh, another goth. Ah, Lady Gaga. Now, I like that skirt. That is a beautifully made skirt. In fact, the whole thing is beautifully made, but it's still horrible. But this is actually, I do know Lady Gaga. I mean, not personally, you understand. So she does go for slightly surrealistic looks. And that's her look. Uh, this this um, boned body stocking look is... Uh, uh, yeah, Lady Gaga. I, I really do object to those... That bra, though, the top bit. I mean, it's just making fun of breasts, isn't it? There seems to be a lot of situations where people are making fun of women now. Uh, mostly, they were men, but it looks like this is um, this is leaking over into uh, women as well. That's not a good sign, is it? Who's this? Michelle Williams. Do I know that name? Looking ethereal. I suppose. Well, it's oh crikey! I can see there's there's a a sort of veil thing going, uh, you know, like opera glove length over her arms. That sort of thing seems to be a thing now. That white dress had that look as well. It's not a bad dress. Uh, it's it's not exceptional. Oh gosh, who is this? Rooney Mara. Oh my goodness me. She looks... 
Somebody give her a sandwich. Uh, well, she looks very thin. She looks very miserable. Look at those, sh that round-shouldered look. I don't know whether she's round-shouldered or, or it's the dress that's making her round-shouldered. It's a horrible dress. It can't, it's a sort of train at the back there. It, it's sort of cut up the front. I suppose when she walks, it kicks out a bit so you can see more of her legs. The colour doesn't suit her. Uh, this, this thing looks like bandages. Actually, she does look a bit like the mummy, doesn't she? What's this? Uh, Andrea or Andrea Riseborough. No, the dress doesn't suit her. If she had a little lace cap on, she'd look like a tablecloth. Okay, who's... Oh, vampy. Phoebe Waller-Bridge. I know that name. I don't know where she is, where she's appeared, but I do know that she has a problem with that dress. Um, <laughs> you see that there? That little bulge? That's why she's standing. Well, there are two reasons she's standing arms akimbo like that. The first is apparently it's either the dress or her. She doesn't have much of a waist. So she's put her hands on her waist to make it look smaller. And the um, the bonus on keeping her arms out like that is you can't see the bulge that's going to happen over this sort of a bone dress um, to uh, women uh, of any, any age over 18, I'd probably say. Um, so no, that she should not be wearing that dress. I can't really see. It looks like it's sparkly a bit. Again, there's this train. I don't know why they go for trains. Who's this? Jessica Chastain. I have heard that name. And that's a nice dress. And she's gone for the, uh, yeah, look at her hair. Sort of, uh, oh, Veronica Lake. That's it. She's even wearing that sort of bright scarlet lipstick of a 1940s star. She's definitely going for the 1940s look and she's carrying it off so well. I can even forgive her uh, for that slightly um, tasteless plunge in her dress. But it's all right because she's not she's not gone for anything particularly extreme. I don't know where that train is coming from. There might be some sort of a gathered thing at the back from the, the, the back of the dress to hide the zip. Uh, and uh, But yes, it's, it's very nice. Yeah, that's nice. Now, that's how you do silver sparkles, not the fish thing above. Who was wearing that? Who's this? OK, Kerry Condon. I don't know who she is. She's wearing a uh, yellow bridal gown uh, with the top missing. I, I can't really see. Um, and she could do with doing her hair a bit better as well. I can't really see the dress and the fact that she's standing like that for the photos probably means that the dress isn't that hot from the front either. But I, I don't know. Oh, 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 Nicole Kidman. Oh. Couldn't you wait till they'd finished the rest of the dress? Look. She's past the age when she has to prove that she still has the physique of a 16-year-old boy. You know, one thin arm, one thin uh, leg. Uh, she obviously works hard at her figure. She's, uh, you know, that, that leg there, uh, the result of hours of, of spin or weightlifting or whatever. And, and she, she's just showing that, you know, she's saying to all the producers, look at me, I may be, how old is she? She's... She, is she in her 50s now? Oh, yeah, but whatever she is, look at me. I'm still as toned as a 16-year-old. As a she doesn't need to do that anymore. And that, that's a truly horrible dress. These great big lumps at the side. Oh, who's this? Michael, Michelle Yo. It's awful. Wedding dress. No imagination. Is she pregnant? You see, that's the problem with the white background. Uh, she might be pregnant or that might be just the, the skirt sort of coming out at the front, uh, very full and not flattering. It's not flattering if you're pregnant and it's not flattering if you're not pregnant. 
if you see what I mean. But the top is cut properly so it doesn't make any bulges. I suppose we should all be thankful for that. Who's this? Halle Berry. It's awful. More, more of these rosettes. That's probably the designer's got a, uh, a job lot of rosettes. Halle Berry was very, very thin and gorgeous, and she is now no longer very thin. Uh, she's, look at that lovely little face there. Cheeky face, really nice. And she's wearing this horrible set of loose bandages with, you know, just showing off her leg, which aren't that good anymore. Or if they are good, they're not being shown by the dress as good. Bad choice. Oh, uh, Julia Louis Dreyfus, and, and that's a nice dress. It's not an exceptional dress. It's not a, a striking dress, but it is a very nice dress, and it suits her, and her hair is nice, and she, she just looks good. And you know what she looks like? Well, let's go back to uh, uh, Halle Berry. What she's saying here is, look at me. Here, here are the parts of my body on show. Uh, you, can, you can put me in a film. I'm going to look good. Uh, you know, these parts of me are going to look good. Look at uh, Louis Dreyfus. What she's saying here is, I'm an actress. I'm at these awards. I'm wearing a nice dress. And, and, and here I am. There's a difference, isn't there? Who's this? Stephanie Sue. Yeah, that, that's an okay dress. Very sweet, very prom, prom gown-ish. Uh, it's a nicely structured top. Uh, the colour suits her. Not my taste, by the way, but yeah. <laughs> Florence you well sometimes i i i have used the analogy of somebody getting out of bed really quickly and just coming in the duvet this time she's come in the whole set of bed sheets by the looks of things and again this you know one leg out thing oh that's that's so passe, my dear. All right, next one. Who's this? Elizabeth Olsen. I don't know who she is, but she's wearing Morticia Adams' nightdress, isn't she? Uh, Sandra O. Oh. Do you know, I do like that dress. I do like it. I love the drapery. It's beautifully made, by the way. And it can do a plunge like that because she's got hardly any up top to start with. So she's not being sort of uh, crass about it. That is a beautifully made dress. I'm not entirely sure about the colour, but uh, you know, she's wearing imperial yellow. And very well too. Okay. <laughs> Ashley Graham. So we were on the fish theme before and we've got a fishing net down here, haven't we? And um, and there's sort of bandaging affair here and, and this, this thing hanging from her neck that looks like, I don't know what, wings? In general, I'd say it looks like she's about to take off and go flapping around the roof of the wherever they're holding the Oscars, desperately looking for a window to get out into the night. Who's this? No, miss, miss. It starts off bravely enough. Uh, there's just too many flounces. And that top, well, she is very flat. And this is uh, transparent. And I don't know why she bothers, actually. The top looks nice from what I can see of it. But when you've got to turn round to show the back of your dress, it means there's something wrong with the dress, doesn't it? This is a nice dress. I like this. Vanessa Hudgens. Yeah, matching shoes. 
bag, neat hair. Now you see, although it's got that very low look because of the black, it's got an extra piece at the top. Uh, so you've got that fashionable, far too low look, but with uh, what you might call a modesty band. But it's it's beautiful, very nice. She looks lovely, whoever she is. Who, who's this? Winnie Harlow. I don't like it. I don't like the colour. I think when you have this sort of skin condition, it's called vitil vitiligo, isn't it? Anyway, uh, when you have this skin condition, which causes your skin to marble in this way, you have to be very careful about the colours you wear. I mean, not for every day, but when you're going on a, a red carpet. And I think this is wrong. And I do not understand this. It looks like she's got a microphone stuck there. So no, I think whoever convinced her to wear that dress wasn't doing her any favours. Oh gosh, a bit of 1950s glamour here. Fan, bing, bing. Okay, now uh, this is quite a radical dress. It looks like just a, a straight tube and and this green cloak thing. But really, again, this here, what for? It's awful. I mean, it could have been an elegant dress and then she goes and ruins it with this. I'm not saying you should never show your bosoms, uh, but what, what I am saying is this is sort of obvious. And the general look at her, you see this porcelain doll look on her face and then this here. So you take the head off, you've got a Marilyn Monroe. She could carry that sort of thing off because that was her, her, her thing but not with this porcelain doll face on top of it. So that's a real shame because that's an opportunity missed. Laverne Cox. Well, we've got the black opera glove uh, with the, <laughs> she's got such long nails, she's just made holes in the ends of the gloves. Uh, she's got this, this brown top, fawn top, a a uh, black skirt that's at just the point where her hips start to get big. So that emphasizes that. And then she thought, well, it, it needs brightening up. So I'll put a toilet roll around it. OK, another prom dress ruined uh, with with a leg. So look, the top's nice and there's this frilly bit here. Well, yeah, excessive, but well, these are the Oscars and a nice uh, wide dress a uh, skirt and that's the point when you have a wide skirt you don't there is no excuse at all for a, a slit to stick your leg out of no excuse whatsoever if you were wearing a narrow skirt there would be at least an excuse this no it's just showing your leg for the sake of showing your leg it's not at all radical we expect actresses to have good legs Halle Bailey. Well, I remember that name and I don't know what she does, but I've seen her in some awful dresses. And this one is at least reasonable, uh, but it, it doesn't suit her. I mean, look, it's, it's just underwear, isn't it? You can even see her underpants through it. This is a slip that you wear under another dress. And no amount of posing with your shoulder back. Oh, and by the way, with your hand on your hip there to hold the dress down so it doesn't look like you're enormous. And no amount of doing that gets out of the... Uh, stops people looking at that and thinking, look, this is an underslip with a, a corset. I like her hair, though. Uh... Oh, Jamie Lee Curtis. Now, I've seen her in some terrible things and this is pretty good. Uh, so uh, props for that. But look, she appears to have got thick around the waist in her old age. Women are allowed to do that. And uh, I don't know. But you see, it could be the dress. 
But there's this boning here, which rather implies that, no, that's her waist. And it doesn't suit her. It doesn't look nice. It just shows off the fact that she's got thick in the waist and that her hips are rather narrow. And she's tried to, she's tried to disguise that by putting her hand on her waist and out from her hips. So uh, to give the impression of a curve, but it doesn't fool me. And I don't think it fools either of you. The colour's good for her. Neck's a bit plain, maybe. But no, um, it's a nice dress. It would look nicer if she had more of a waist. Uh, being that she doesn't have more of a waist, uh, she shouldn't be wearing that dress. Or she, she should be wearing something like a, a, a jacket or something on top that disguises that, that uh, width there. Monica Barbaro. All right. So a Greek style see-through dress with a, uh, a, a sort of big train. I suppose that would go out the back when she's walking. So when she's moving forward, what you'd see is her legs through that dress. Well, basically, it reminds me of a, a, an expensive house where there's a set of curtains, net curtains, and then and my, my mother had that. It was an expensive house, but she was trying to emulate it. You know, you'd have neck curtains for privacy, you know, although this dress seems to reveal more more than it uh, hides. And uh, and then uh, these silky, like, drapey curtains on either side, they drape up. When we moved into her house, the first thing I did was take down those bloody curtains. Um, yeah, uh, no. OK, I do like the colour scheme and it could have worked a lot better. But no, middle class and lower middle class neck curtains and silk drapes, I'm afraid. Now, who's this? Hong Chow. All right. Well, the pink colour suits her, but either she has no waist or the dress isn't going in properly. Or uh, they tried to compromise on the straightness of a Chong Sam uh, with the tailoring of a Western dress and it didn't work. And then to add to the insult, I think that's supposed to be a train out the back, but the general impression is that when she got out of the limousine to, uh, to come to the party, uh, some other limousine driver drove over her cat. Okay, right, next one. Who's this? Oh, Malala Yousafzai. Yousafzai. Well, uh, she's not an actor. What's she doing here? Whatever. They've invited her. And that dress is very nice. Very 1940s, although I'm not sure that she would have appreciated the cultural reference. There were many 1940s dresses that had these sort of cowl things. And if you feel you have to wear some sort of a hood uh, out of respect for your religion, then that's probably the best way to do it. And again, sparkly silver, and she doesn't look like a fish. I do like the shoulders. No, it's very nice. Um, <laughs> okay, I missed this one in the run-through. Mindy Kaling. Again, this, this thing where the, the rest of the dress seems to have fallen down and revealed the underwear. And these, these sleeves, I don't know what you call them. Uh, do you know what it, this reminds me of? It looks like she was wearing her underwear and just stepped into a toilet roll. Okay, well, enough of Mindy Kaling. Who's this? Oh, another bloody leg. Ariana DeBose. DeBose? Okay. Now, I keep telling people, don't wear lilac because it doesn't suit most people. But it suits her. She's fine. I like those tailored shoulders. As for the rest of the dress, it's a pig's breakfast. And they, there's this strap down here. Uh, and the, there's these bits here. 
there's, there's this train here, it can't make up its mind what it wants. And there's this sleeve with the glove sort of thing. And what's this? Again, this. So look, okay, well, why am I reacting in this way? Uh, I'll tell you. There's bust here and there's leg here. You know, it's either bust or leg. You can have an excuse for the slip because the skirt is narrow and you've got to be able to walk. But then you don't do this at the top. It's just ridiculous. Bit, bit 1930s space fiction, isn't it? Oh God, this is even worse. Eva Longoria. Oh, just look at that. I wonder what happens when she leans forward. Uh, who's this? Zoe Saldana. Now, again, underwear. This is underwear, you know, lace slip with the corset. And she's, she's at least had the good grace to put uh, this sort of uh, extra bit at the top there. You know, again, you've got this low... Uh, this low level of dress but then there's this bit up here and she looks happy enough and the dress is a mess we're going back to lace curtains again obviously lace lace curtains is a bit of a thing this year who's this ava duvernay well you know it would have been a nice dress I, it's a bit difficult to see because there's so much black there, but it looks like a sort of black knobbly type of material, or maybe it's got sequins on it or something. And then this silver, what sort of silver cape type thing. And uh, there's a bit going around her waist as well. And it's, it's all, and the black gloves, the black gloves seem to be a thing now as well. And then there's this rather blousy, inelegant bust. Which is a shame because the dress itself could be elegant, but this just undercuts it. I don't know if that's her look though, so uh, I can't say. Jennifer Connolly. Again, this, this very, very low neckline. And it looks like she's got a rocket stuck down the front of her dress. And she doesn't look that happy either. Uh, who's Angela Bass? Okay, well, I mean, it's, I'll, she reminds me of something. Many of you won't know this who are watching. It's very uh, sort of uh, appropriate because her second name is Bassett. Now, I'll, I'll explain. She reminds me of a Quality Street Brazil nut chocolate. And I'm going to find a picture of one and I'll put it over Angela Bassett and you'll see. And uh, this, she, she just looks like one of those uh, Brazil nut things, sweets, all wrapped up. Uh, but the, the interesting thing is there is another uh, type of sweet uh, made by a company called Bassett's in England. So uh, she's, uh, she's um, I think, uh, Quality Street are Roundtree. I'm not sure, though. It might be Nestle. But whatever, it's a rival company. And then there's Bassett, and that's her name. Yeah, look, I mean, there's, you know, she just looks like a, a wrapped confectionery of some sort the, the color suits her and it's a striking dress but there's really too much wrapping there okay no 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 no, no. it looks like the cat's been at it and the color doesn't suit her <laughs> all right well look look i like I like the top of this dress. I do like that. It's very nicely tailored and she looks good. She's got the right sort of width of shoulders and 
a toned physique and a, a small waist and that conical type dress which you saw something similar from Lady Gaga wearing. Why did she do that to her hair? She looks like a lavatory brush. Oh, that's it. All right, well, that's the... Uh, oh, it's always good to end on a high note, isn't it? That's the Oscars Awards. Um, till next time. Why not treat yourself or a favoured relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch? The mugs and t-shirts come in the Granny Opteryx design or Grambo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. Go to www.grannyopteryx.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like, subscribe and share, share, share.